Hey you, it's elsies.blogspot.com and I have a huge bag of empties. So let's see what I liked and what I didn't. I'm going to go and just whatever I grab out of here. First of all, I have the Mega Protein Wet n Wild Mascara and I didn't empty this. It's not an empty, but this I got as a sample with a enlisting for beauty. It was a limited edition trio, kind of like part of an army or military series. Anyway, this started off really good and I liked it. But after the first time of wearing it, it just continued to smudge on my lids and I don't have oily lids and it would just smudge all the way underneath here and that's in winter so, um, so that's one of the reasons why I don't like doing first impressions because you try it once and you love it, you try it again, it might not work. But this I didn't like. It's a wet mascara. It didn't work for me. Two more mascaras. This is the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel. It's just a very nice natural mascara and I really liked it a lot. I really like that one too. So for me this was a natural mascara. It gave lots of definition and I would repurchase it. Next up I have one that I have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. It's the CoverGirl Lash Blast in the traditional orange wand and I love the formula. I love the way that looks on me and I'm wearing it today. I have a sample of Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love this. I've never purchased it. I've gotten it with different palettes from them or like from Ipsy or something. You know, I've gotten different ones. But this, I did, I would repurchase it. This is the Suave Almond Cookie Bath Wash. This smelled amazing. Unfortunately, it was limited edition, but it smelled so good like Christmas, sugar cookies, pure happiness on a budget. And I would definitely repurchase this. This is kind of gross, but Secret Invisible Solid Deodorant in Coco Kiss. I like this. I would repurchase it. This is Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation. This is one of those products that I had the points, and it was like the only thing, everything else was gone out of the points for um, Ulta, and I got this, and I hated it. It's horrible to get out, so I had to constantly put something in there. I couldn't like shake it and get it to come out. It did horribly on my face. It broke me out. I didn't like this at all would not buy it. Did you guys like this? Have you ever tried it? Did you like it? Let me know. The Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I personally love this. This is one of my favorites. It is pretty pricey, but um, a gorgeous hourglass wand, which I've talked about before. I don't always like the hourglass wands, but this one I loved. It gave me great volume, great voluminous lashes. Would definitely buy this again. Cinema Secrets Professional Brush Cleaner. If you want to clean your brushes in a hurry, I love this. I get this from Friends Beauty, but you can find it online. It smells like vanilla, so your brushes smell nice. And it gets them clean really, really quickly. So this, I would absolutely repurchase. From Target, I have some baby wipes. I use these to remove my makeup, not as the sole means. I use a cleanser afterwards, or just to clean my hands if I've been using makeup and stuff. And that's probably why they have makeup on them. So I've repurchased these several times, and I think I share these in pretty much every empties video. Sabu Beauty, this is a C Buckthorn Cleaner, and I reviewed this on the blog. It was sent for review. I really liked it. It does have citrus in it, which for me breaks me out and just causes ulcers. But um, it's one of those things like I have to get through that initial period and then it works. But it, it really is a good cleanser and I would recommend it. Two more mascaras. I go through a lot of mascara. I told y'all that before. I have the Sky Rise by NYC and I really like this because not only is it inexpensive but it gives you some great length as well. But it dries out so quickly that it's just not even worth it to purchase. But it's one of those if you are, you know, you're desperate and you only have a couple bucks, you needed a mascara quickly, this is a one that, to purchase. I have the Smashbox Full Exposure. I got this as a sample for attending the uh, Bling Ring event. And this is a good mascara. It's not like my favorite of all time, but I actually really liked it. I like a big one. It's almost too big though, right? The Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. Um, I've told you before, I have a love-hate relationship with Maybelline mascaras because they flake a lot on me. I love the way that they look on, but they end up flaking, so I don't always uh, prefer them. So this one I didn't really care for. But Big Eyes by Maybelline, I love this one. Not a lot of people did, and a lot of people got it in waterproof by accident because it is kind of close. But this, I loved it. I love the little wand on my bottom lashes. I love this one for big, really voluminous and long lashes. Really close to the um, Better Than Sex Mascara, but much cheaper price. So this, absolutely would repurchase. 
from Beauty Box 5, I got these uh, Cool Way Shampoo and Conditioners. I did a review um, in 2012, I think, of the Cool Way system on how it works, and it really does work. But these, these were okay. I don't think they were necessarily for, if you have thick, dry hair, I don't think you would like these, but if you have fine hair, definitely check them out. From Savannah Bee Company, I have three of their washes, Wild Blackberry, this is Tupelo Honey, and Mint. These are great. I like them. And I just didn't care for the honey scent and the blackberry scent. I thought it was a little strong, but that's just a personal preference. But as washes, uh, they worked great. I really liked them. And check them out if you haven't already. Simple eye makeup remover. I like this. One time it did burn my eyes, which I don't know what that was about. But the rest of the time it was absolutely fine. It um, didn't have any oil in it or any harsh dyes or anything to aggravate my eyes other than that one time. So this I would absolutely repurchase. From Good Body Wash, I have this in Orange Petalooza, and this is just a nice orange body wash. This was a sample, but I really liked it. More wipes, no surprise. And I have some CVS Premium Cotton Squares. I use these to take off my eye makeup, whether I'm using something like the Simple Care or, or Bioderma, or lately I've been using this Garnier oil treatment that I'm going to share with you guys soon. But um, these I've repurchased. They're not the best. I tend to like a thicker, more durable square. So these are all right. Contact solution, because I wear contacts. But in actuality, I usually don't have contacts on when I'm doing videos. I'm usually wearing my glasses and then I take them off. So I normally just go blind whenever I'm doing these. Even eye tutorials, which probably isn't the best for makeup. But nonetheless, I love this, the OptiFree. I would repurchase it. I've already repurchased it. Bath and Body Works. I have this kind of pumpkin -y spice soap stuff and um, I used it all up it was good nice fall scent I have, still have my gingerbread soap in there right now Ooh. but yeah we'll repurchase this so the bag is empty I share my empties I want to know if you do empty videos link to them below that way I can check them out have a great day be safe behave and we will love you bye